What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah. We just defeated Morty, the Ecrotech uh, City Gym Leader. Yeah, here's the proof. Take a look. Four shiny badges spinning around. Pretty awesome, and yes, I'm a little broke right now because I've been doing some stuff off-screen so I can be ready for this episode right here. Now, in the last episode, I did mention that we can go west right here to Mahogany Town to do the events over there or we could go east and you know take care of the stuff down there over on Olivine and Simewood City but I just remembered something we have the surf technique now and we've passed by quite a few places that you know require our attention and surf and if I'm not mistaken it's Friday morning so there's an event going on every Friday that we're gonna be doing so what we're going to do right now is we're going to head south and we're going to take care of a few side quests right here before we go to the next few towns and well um let's see it's the next day ah yes we got more apricorns so i'm going to get the apricorns too because i think we're going to be passing by uh i think we're going to be passing by bugsy's place too i don't know i don't even like that guy anyways i don't know he's too annoying come on give me the black apricorn that's right Okay, and yes, our mission is still to evolve our Eevee into into an Espeon, and luckily for us, it is uh, it is daytime, so we need to do it like right now, like right now, right now, in the morning or in the day. I don't know. It needs to be super happy. I just don't know. So I'm gonna. Oh God. I just need to get away from these Pokemon right here. I did buy uh, five repels, but I didn't have enough. That's why I have only 155 uh, Poke Dollars right now. So our first place that we're going to be going to is down to Violet City right here. I think there's a few things that... Yes. Okay, so let's go right here. I think there's a few things that we can get. And yes, we can still be attacked by Pokemon too. So if you go right here, not right there, there is an item. And it is a PP up. That's right. It increases the uh, increases the uh, the uh, the amount of PP that your Pokemon moves have, which is, you know, I'm gonna keep that in hand in hand just in case. So that's one thing, and I'm gonna use the bike again. Um, let's see. If we go right here, I wonder if there's something right here. Is there? Oh yes, there's an opening. Look at that. Grab that. We found ourselves a rare candy. I think this is the first rare candy we've gotten in this game right here. If you guys don't know, rare candies are very special. They actually level up your Pokemon, and well, would you look at that? Our first uh, ever battle on the on the on the on the river or on the lake, and we already caught a Poliwag right here. I think I mentioned earlier on that I did want to capture a Poliwag, and I wanted to replace my Wooper with it because Wooper wasn't doing so much, but then you know picked up the slack and just started kicking butt right here so I'm happy with the Pokemon that I have it is a tank a slow tank but it's it's still a tank and I just need to get a, away from these people right here and yes I do have my Eevee up front just so it, it can receive just a little bit more happiness because it's up front so if you go right here I think there's something oh wait hmm. grab that it is the next day too so might as well grab some berries while I'm at it Okay, so if I go right here, I think there's a little something right here. No, no, I was mistaken. Um, let's see. Nope, nothing right there. Okay, so we're gonna go down to Cherry Grove, uh, Cherry Grove City because there's also there's also a few things that we need to do down there too. Big old river, big, or lake, or whatever you like to call it. But before we do that, let's go. Let's go. Let's go cherry picking right now. Right here. Poison berry. You can never have so many poison cure berries. Alrighty. Get over here, out here, down here, and there's one more place. Yes, there's a ledge. Grab that, and it's another, it's another berry. That's pretty good. We will be needing those berries, and uh. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. There's one more thing right here. Nope. Nothing right there. Okay, so that ends all that. And so as you can see, there is a person right here waiting for us. He does have an item that we desperately need for our whooper. 
Now, we're going to be attacked again by another Pokemon. And look at that! A Tentacool. It's the first time we ever met a Tentacool. No, I do not want to battle you. Okay, so, go right here, talk to this guy. He's like, a Pokemon I caught had an item. I think it's a Mystic Water. I don't need it, so do you want it? Of course. So there it is, guys. We've got a mix, uh, Mystic Water. And he's like, back to fishing for me then. Mystic Water. It powers up your Water-type moves. And we're going to desperately need that one. So let's just give that to our Wooper right here. Where are you, Lucky? He does have a Quick Claw. So we're going to be switching that up. And we're going to give that Quick Claw to somebody else. Who's not fast right now? Well, we're going to give that to Teddy right now, because he's probably not that fast. And let's go and surf again. There's nothing else right here. So, let's see. Am I missing anything? Not really. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward. We're going to be going into, let's see, back to Violet City. So, I'll be back in just a little bit, guys. Okay, so we're back in Violet City. Let's go riding on our bike right here. So we already got all the stuff right here. So now we're going to be going down, not right there, but we're going to be going right here, grabbing this little thing because, you know, it's always nice to have that. You know, I've only been paralyzed, what, twice maybe? I don't know. And we're going to be going down to Route 32, back to the Union Cave because uh, I'm pretty sure there's a little something going on down there. There's our good old friends that, you know, we eventually lost our phone numbers to because, you know... They just kept on calling me too much. And is there anything right here? Anything at all? No, there's nothing. Okay, so we don't need to surf right here. And uh, would you look at that? It is Friday, so if you get to go right here on a Friday, you talk to her. It's Frida. Yahoo! It's Friday. I'm Frida of Friday. Nice to meet you. Here's a poison bar for you. So as you can see, there are seven people throughout the day they will give you a special item this is one of them Frida a Friday gives us a poison barb and yes give that to a Pokemon that has poison type new moves oh it's wicked you'll be shocked at how good it makes a poison type moves okay so that's good I think I only have one Pokemon with that kind of move but it doesn't have doesn't exactly have fright or poison type moves yet and here we are in the Union Cave when we were here early on, I did mention that there are some areas right here that we can go to with the surf technique. Fortunately, we didn't have it right now. But, or we didn't have it, but now we do. And it is time for us to explore a few different things around this area. And yes, we're going to be attacked by a shoot load of Pokemon. Like Ratatas. Or Ratatas, or Ratatatatas. However you guys like to call it. I don't, I don't care. I'm not judging. Personally, I am judging, so I'm going to surf right here. And there's nothing. Okay, so... I'm going to go a little further. And, you know, I'm going to be attacked by more Pokemon. I did buy repels. I just realized that. But I really don't want to waste them right here, especially since I have a bike on, because that wastes them very, very quickly. So no more Geodudes for me. And that's one place that we're going to be going to. The other one is going to be down here. So what I'm going to do is, oh yes, this will lead to, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think this will lead to a secret entrance into the, um, what was the, yes, it will lead to, let's see, do we need this, this strength technique? There are Pokemon trainers here, so as you can see, I believe this will lead to the um, to the extra places over on the uh, Ruins of Valve. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to battle those guys. We're not really going to go to the Ruins of Valve, but we're just going to show it off right here, guys. Let's see. Guy right here. So I don't want to mess with Relic right now. Let's go to Lucky. Let's use Lucky. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I should probably use those repels right now. <sighs> Gotta love Raditus, huh? How are they everywhere? I don't know. Okay, let's go. It's been a while since I saw I last saw another person. Don't be shy, let's battle. Th there's another person on the other side of that area. I'm just saying. 
So here we have another hiker. His name is Philip, and he wants to battle, and he's coming out with his Geo Dude. What up, dude? And you know they're the appropriate level right here. So we're gonna be battling some people with some good levels right here. And uh, where there's good levels, there's good experience points. Just gotta love it, huh? Gots to love it. And say bye bye to Gia, dude. All right, okay, okay. So we're getting some points right here, and we're gonna keep lucky. All right, lucky. You know what to do. Surf the heck out of these Pokemon. Yeah. Look at that. You gotta love that noise, huh? Always said that. You gots to love that noise. That's another 400 points, and ooh, almost grows to level, and he will be coming out with the Graveler. This is probably the first time we're battling against Graveler. Okay. Show me what you can do right here. Another Surf Attack. And that Mystic Water is actually helping us a lot. Look at that. Buh bye Buh bye Graveler. Alright, okay, okay, so that's very good battling right there. He's like, ugh. Okay, talk to him again. I've been lost for a long time. I don't mind it here. I don't mind here, but I'm so hungry. I mean, dude, the ent the exits are close by. I mean, uh, why help somebody that doesn't want to be helped? Um, okay, so let's go with Teddy right here. And there's an exit right here. I'm going to go right here right now. And like I said, the Ruins of Alf are right here. And uh, you can actually find an interesting Pokemon right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to battle people. It's like, hmm, this is a strange place. It really is, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty strange. So here we have Psychic Nathan. He wants to battle us. He's coming out with his Giraffe Rig. This is the first time we're meeting up against Giraffe Rig. And let's go, Teddy. Let's do some damage right here with a faint attack. But that agility... Yeah, we're not we're not gonna get anywhere with that. So here we go, faint attack. So it's pretty it's a pretty good thing that I actually taught my Teddy or gave my my Teddy uh the the quick claw right here. And uh, this giraffe rig is gonna be a problem. It is going to be a problem. So here we go again with another or here we go with the headbutt. And the, yeah, that giraffe rig is yep he's not miss messing around right here. So here we go headbutt attack. And there goes Giraffe Rig. So it's actually a very good thing that I'm actually coming around this area at this time because my Pokemon are right around the same level as these guys. Talk to him, he's like, I like thinking here. So like I said, you'll be able to find a very interesting Pokemon in this area. Let me just show you. Let me just show you right here. I'm gonna go right here, okay. So let's see what kind of interesting Pokemon we're gonna find. That's the interesting Pokemon. It's a Natu. Now, back then, I actually had the idea to actually have Natu on my team. The thing was that, you know, I like Espeon better. Maybe we should go with something different. And, uh, you know, there goes that. There goes the decision to actually have Natu. But if you guys want a Psychic slash Flying type Pokemon, this is the place to go. As you can see. Very, very good place. So, we're not going to go into that cave because that actually goes into the next room in the ruins or... Ruins of Alf. So we're going to go back here. And we're going to battle this guy. So what I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with... Uh, eh. You know what? I'm going to go with Cinder. I'm going to see what happens right here. I'm hoping this guy has like a fighting type Pokemon. He's like, what do you know? A visitor. I am kind of a visitor. Maybe just a little bit. So here he has two Pokemon. His name is Leonard. From the Big Bang Theory. Alright. Come on, Flame Wheel. Come on, Flame Wheel. It's a little bit more powerful, and I do have that charcoal on me. And it does take a lot of damage right there. And ooh, that yeah, that that is not good. That is not good at all. Come on, stay, stay, no. Oh my god. Okay, so it is a bad idea to actually battle with uh, fire type Pokemon right here. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. It really doesn't. So, there you go. Another Pokemon down. And he's going to come out with his Machop. I... Eh, you know what? I'm going to keep it with Cinder right here. 
this was the Pokemon that I was hoping for. So, let's go. Flame Wheel for the win. Hopefully this guy gets burned if, I, if he doesn't faint at all. And it almost faints, and ooh, that Karate Chop will not make me faint. So let's finish him off. Quick attack. That's right. Flaming Mohawk for the win. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. He's like, whoa, you're a feisty one. Kinda am. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward right here and get out of here and go into the next room that we were supposed to go in. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, so it took us a while to get out of there because Pokemon after Pokemon after Pokemon. Okay, so now remember battling this guy? He mentioned something about Fridays. Talking to this guy, he's like, every Friday you can hear a Pokemon roar from deep inside the cave. So we're gonna look for that Pokemon, and like I said, this right here we need Surf. And look at that, another layer to this puzzle right here. And there is another Pokemon trainer. I don't think he has a. I don't think he has Rock type Pokemon. So he's like, who's there? Leave me and my Pokemon alone. Jesus, these people are grumpy. I, why are you grumpy? Why you don't like me? So here we go with the Pokemon, uh, Pokemaniac, Poke Emo, Andrew, and he wants to battle. He's gonna come out with his Marowak. Ooh, bad choice, bad choice. Don't want to battle against Marowak right here because, yeah. Let's go, Thun or Lucky. Yeah, we don't want to mess with that. We really, we definitely don't want to mess with that. So he's gonna throw out his Bone Club right here. It's a continuous move. Does it get powerful? It could be, but Marowak is a rock type Pokemon as well, so we don't want to mess with him, especially when it has high de uh, defense, like a rock type Pokemon. And there we go, beat him, split the difference right there, and uh, well, coming out with another Marowak, I'm just going to stay for, stay put with my Lucky right here. Alrighty, so, he throws another Bone Club right here. Not that powerful, but here's my Surf. How do you like me now? Not that much. Doesn't really like me that much. Oh yes. Oh yeah. So easy. So there goes Andrew, and he's like, go, go away! Jeez, man, such a loner. Just me and my Pokemon. I'm delirious with joy. Well, that's good. At least you have friends that can probably not speak back to you, but I don't care. Okay, there's another trainer right there, probably another Poke Emo, so let's go ahead and battle him. I came here, or I came all the way here to conduct my Pokemon research. Let me demonstrate my findings in a real battle. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what this guy has. Poke Emo. Calvin. Calvin Klein. Comes out with his Kangaskhan. Oh yeah, you can capture a Kangaskhan out here somewhere. Am I right? I don't know. But it's a very good battle against, uh... A relic right here. Come on! Oh god. Yeah, it is very, very bulky. If I had a choice, I probably would have gone with a Kangaskhan. But this is like one of the first times I've seen somebody use a Kangaskhan for battle and comes out with a Mega Punch. Come on, stay put, stay put. Don't, oh, I was about to say, do not faint. Yeah, so Headbutt's its only strong attack right now and that's some good experience points. Well,. He's like, you demonstrated on me! Uh, yes, I did. What do you have to say for yourself? I should compile and announce my study findings. I might even become famous like Professor Elm. Oh, good for you. You, you. you reach for the sky. Okay, so here is another room right here. And I think it's a good time than any to actually use these uh, repels. And I should probably heal up some of my Pokemon. Yeah, just one of them. And let's go ahead and surf. Surf, surf, surf. Surf all the way. So, there's a few trainers right around here. And a few items. Um, pretty sure there's an item right here somewhere. No, there's nothing right there. You can fish right here somewhere. And, let's see. I'm gonna battle her a little later, but let's go right here. I'm pretty sure there's... Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item. He's like, there's there are two kinds of po uh, people. Those who have style and those who don't. What kind of person do you? Mother lover? I got swag. It's that swag. That's right. And, uh, oh, yeah, cool trainer. His name is Nick, and he's coming out with a Charmander. 
Man, I really wish I had my Charmander with me, or my Charm my Charmeleon. So I'm gonna go with a quick attack. Pretty sure this guy has a... I think he has all the evolutionary forms, and wow, smokescreen. Didn't expect that to come. Okay, so let's go with that bad butt. And there goes that Chamanda. Ooh, oh yeah. Okay, so coming out with that Squirtle, let's go ahead and give a little bit of battle or a little more chance to Kit Thunder right here. More around his league. Look at that guy. Alrighty, Kit Thunder. For the Thunder Punch. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, wow, he is. Well, he's doing that. So we'll go again with another Thunder Punch right here. And there we go. For the win, Kid Thunder, you're kicking some butt right here. So he's going to come out with his Bulbasaur. Well, let's go with uh, Cinder right here. Don't want to mess up. Well, we're going to do type advantages and disadvantages and all that fun advantages that you guys love. And let's go with that Flame Wheel. Oh, yes. For the win. Bye bye yeah, That was pretty easy right there. Very, very easy. So there goes that cool trainer. He ain't cool no more. And he's like, you've got dazzling style. Why would you say that, man? I said I, I just said swag. I just have swag. Oh, God, never mind. Whatever. Okay, so that's another victory for us. And uh, see, your Pokemon style is stunning and colorful. I admit, you'll just keep getting better. Swag, man. Swag. Never mind. So here's a Hyper Potion. Pretty cool. All right, so that's another good potion that we probably need. And I check right here? I didn't check. I didn't check. No, I didn't check. Oh, I did check. So let's move on right here. We're on the road to Vermilion City. Let's go. Let's battle this chick. And she's like, I'm training. I'm training. Uh, I'm in training. Care for a round? Yes. Let's do this. Bring it, sister. So here's another cool trainer, female, and her name is Gwen, and she does have the evolutions right here. You know what happened last time we did? We faced an evolution with just an Eevee. We beat everybody with just an Eevee. And ooh, come on. I don't want that sand attack on me. But that quick attack will hit us right there. And come on, Relic. Let's go with that headbutt for another win right here. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my Relic right now. See what happens. She's going to come out with Flareon. Eh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's just give it to Lucky right here. Let's give it to Lucky. I want to see what happens when I get Lucky. So here goes Lucky. Lucky goes for Surf Attack, but he's not fast enough against this Flareon. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, come on. Okay. Headbutt attack. This, this, okay, so I'll give him that. He did survive my attack, but here we go with a headbutt. Lucky Pokemon right there. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. So that's another that's another level for our Pokemon. She, he's coming out with a Vaporeon right here. So I'm going to go with Kid Thunder just to give it a little more Thunder. Alrighty. Let's go with that Thunder Punch. And come on. Oh, wow. It's not that strong yet. And well, I'm kind of I'm, I'm a little screwed right here now. Because one more sand attack will actually make it harder for me to actually hit this Pokemon right here. And there's that water gun. Alright. That's a lot of uh it's a lot of HP right there. Probably should have went with that light screen first, and well, no need, because we just defeated that Vaporeon. And Kid Thunder just keeps on growing levels right there. Alrighty. And she's gonna come out with a Jolteon. Don't wanna mess with that, so. Let's go with Teddy. Need some loving with Teddy. Yeah, look at that. Jolteon looking pretty badass. Oh yeah. So, Teddy. Roll out. And that makes it harder for me to actually use a rollout. No need. Bane attack. 
I will not. Well, I will not miss this time. And that thunder, that thunder shock actually did quite a number on my teddy right there. Uh, critical hit. How? What world was that critical hit? It should have taken a lot more. And this Jolchan will not go down easily. Ooh. Battle to the death. And oh my god. So I guess I was using that. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Keep my cool. Avenge my Pokemon. Let's go, Relic. Avenge him. Headbutt. And wow, this is the reason why Jolteon's a pretty good Pokemon. We're almost should have evolved into that. That was a critical hit right there, and Relic grows to level 34. Look at that. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so I'm happy. Oh no, you're too good for me. And no, no evolution. Okay, so I do have a rare candy. And it's probably going to be a Shine in the Dark right here. Shine the Dark. Come on, Relic. Evolve. Level 35. And it doesn't evolve. Wow. <sighs> okay, so that wasn't... That wasn't... Okay, so we're, we're, we're close. We are close. The thing is that... Yeah, we still need a lot more work for Relic. Ugh, you're making it hard for me, Relic. Okay, so I gotta heal up my Pokemon, too. Kid Thunder. And then uh, one more on Cinder. And, uh, well, too bad for Teddy. I could have used that rare candy on him, but nah. Really want that Espeon. So here we have one more battle. If the Pokemon I like were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what a real trainer does. Huh. Okay, whatever you say. So here we have another cool trainer. Her name is Emma, and she wants to come out with her Poliwhirl. Look at that. Pretty cool Pokemon. Majestic Pokemon. And I am not going to risk it right here. Let's go with Kitanda. Do not want to. Well, oh uh, crud. So, oh, you're making it harder for yourself. You, you just screwed around. You just messed around with the wrong pro Pokemon. And there's that double slap. Ooh. Probably. Ooh. Okay. So that right there could be a problem. But that could be a problem for him. Ooh. Okay, I gotta finish him off right here, and oh uh, no, <laughs> no! Well, I tried. I really tried. Okay. Dogs and Batman, do your thing. Okay, the rain continues to fall. Let's go with that Swift. Luckily, Dogs and Batman is a little faster than this Pokemon, and wow, does not want to go down. Go again with the Swift attack. Bye bye. And that is some experience points for all our Pokemon right there. And uh, Emma just got defeated right there. Hmm. She's like, I'd rather pet my babies than this. Okay, whatever. Let's see, just once a week, a Pokemon comes to the water's edge. I wanted to see that Pokemon. Okay, so uh, two of our Pokemon just fainted, and one that I really need to use to get this Pokemon is kind of fainted. So uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to heal my Pokemon. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, so we healed up our Pokemon. Kind of a quick fix right here. Um, I also saved up because, uh, yeah, I don't want to miss this out. So all you need now is a Pokemon that knows Surf, and we can just go right here. Now remember, this only happens on Fridays. And as you can see, there is that Pokemon. If you guys don't know who it is, you're pretty dumb. It's all blue. It looks like Lapras. It must be a Lapras. So here we go. Let's battle this Lapras right here. Alrighty. Let's go. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have Lapras, the wild Pokemon, and it's a male too. Look at that. So I'm starting off with Kit Thunder. What I'm going to try and do is go with Light Screen, because this Pokemon is somewhat of a special attacker, and that's what ruined everything. Wow. Okay, so now I probably should have gone with Thunder Punch first, maybe? I'm going to try and paralyze the crap out of this Pokemon, but yeah, this Pokemon... Yeah, super weak against, uh, super weak against, uh, uh, electric type Pokemon. So I'm trying not to make a faint, and wow, we were close right there, and, 
Oh god, okay. So there's that sing attack that we all we all dreaded. So luckily for us, it's at one HP, and I do have plenty of Pokeballs now. So it is a heavy Pokemon, so let's see what would happen if we throw the, the heavy ball at it. Come on, stay in that Pokeball. Two. No! Luckily for us, we already have enough Pokeballs. And uh, ooh. Okay, so we got another heavy ball. It could work, you know? It could work. Come on. Come on. Come on. And there it is, guys. We caught ourselves the Lapras with the Heavy Ball. By the way, Heavy Ball. Thank, thank Arceus for that. Uh, those Apricorns. So there we go, guys. Lapras, the transport Pokemon. This po this gentle Pokemon loves it loves to give Pokemon rides. It provides very comfortable or comfortably... Or wait, wait, wait. It provides a very comfortable way to get around. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Should I give it a nickname? I don't know. Just in case if we were to use this Pokemon. I don't know. We should see. Hmm. I'm thinking about it right now because it's both a water and ice type Pokemon. Hmm. I could change it up. Hmm. Uh... I'll just leave it at I'll just leave it at that for right now. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Lapras. That is very good. Very good stuff right there. Very, very good stuff. Okay, so this is pretty much it for our adventure right here. Mm. No, it is it is not it is not the end of our adventure right now, because there is still one more thing that we need to do, and we have to get to Goldenrod City. So what we're gonna do now is get away from this guy. Yeah, oh. and uh, yeah, we're gonna fast forward, get to uh, Golden Rod City because there's one more thing that we need to do. So I'll be back in just. A okay, so we're back in Golden Rod City, and the one thing that we need to do now is go down here on Route 34, and there is a big area right here where you know it's not covered in any kind of gates or anything like that. We're gonna surf right here because there is a little something that we need to do right here, and then grab this little item right here. We found ourselves a nugget, you know, we can put it to good use. Very, very good use. But that's not the thing that we need to do. There's a little secret area, a little south, uh, south right here, or a little below. I don't even know how you, how, how you would put it in a sentence. I know I'm not really good with grammar and all that stuff. But you know what? I was an athlete. Whatever. And yes, you're going to find yourself a bunch of tentacles. Lots and lots of tentacles. And yes, I was battling a little more outside of battle, you know, that stuff. But this right here, because there's gonna be three different trainers right here waiting for you. Battle them all, you'll get a, a good prize. So we're gonna finish off our episode right here with battling these three little ladies. So let's go. No chance in heck that, you know, you're gonna be switching it out. So Irene's here saying, yeah, someone found us. All right, bring it. Normally we would do like a double battle, but it wasn't introduced in this one right here. So here we have Irene wants the battle, and she comes out with her Goldeen. Not much of a scary Pokemon. It really isn't. So here we go with Relic. Relic Headbutt. For the win, right? It's for the win. Yeah. May have overtrained my, my Relic just a little bit, but you know what? I really want that Espeon. So we're going to finish him off right here with uh, Goldeen, or Seeking, I should say. Now, the question of the day. If a female Goldeen evolves into a Sea King, would it still be a female? Shouldn't it be called a Sea Queen? I don't know. Look at that. Sea King, female Sea King. It doesn't really make much sense. Didn't think that through. And, wow, it survived. But it flinched! So, let's finish it off with a bite. Alrighty. Biting the crud out of this Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Okay. So, that's another another victory for us right there. He's like, oh, too strong. Very strong. But that's not the end. So, here we have Jen. And she's like, you can't beat Irene. Go unpunished. How much you want to bet? I'm just looking at her right now. And she's like, how much you want to bet? So, here comes Jen. And she's coming out with her Staryu. Pretty cool Pokemon, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. But, I got a better Pokemon. Let's go with a little bit of a headbutt right here for the win. Look at that. Easy, easy. Level 36. I'm liking where this is going. And, oh, it's trying to learn Baton Pass. 
Hmm. Let's see. Nah. Nah. I wouldn't want to use Baton Pass. Basically, Baton Pass, ba uh, you know, it's kind of like a switch move uh, from, you know, your Pokemon that learns Baton Pass to the other one. So it's, eh, it's not worth it at all. It really isn't. So here she comes out with a Starmie. I'm going to go with Kit Thunder. That's right, Kit Thunder. And that Starmie looks pretty cool. Looks pretty strong. But here's Kit Thunder with a Thunder Punch. And oh god. That Pokemon is a little strong. Oh wow. Oh wow. It just, uh. Wow. Wow. Did not expect that to happen. So let's go to Toxie uh, Batman right here. It's faster. Especially at level whatever. Confuse Ray. That's right. Try, try and beat that. Try and stop that. That's right. You're confused. What are you gonna do now? Oh, yeah. Bubble Beam. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love that. Gotta love that. And it uh, doesn't take much, but let's go with that Bite Attack because Starmie is also a Psychic-type Pokemon, too, so... We're not worried. I'm not worried at all. And, uh, wow, there's that... Oh, God. It's getting lucky. Real lucky. And, uh, wow. Critical hit. Alright, let's use this. It's more effective against it now, right? That's right. Bug type move for the win. Come on, hurt yourself. Oh, come on! How does. Th oh, wow. This person is like the luckiest person in the world. Okay, so that's two Pokemon. Alright, Teddy. Be a man or a woman. Finish him. Headbutt attack. And that bubble beam is getting on my nerves. Probably should. Oh, wow. It took a lot, too. Very strong Pokemon right here. And you will not die, so let's... Oh, come on. Really? Nose, re nose recover. But I got faint attack. There we go. Oh, come on. Should have finished him off. Come on. Quick Claw. That's right. Quick Claw. That's right. Beat your Starmie to oblivion. Look at that. And Teddy grows to level 27. Oh, God. That cool trainer was pretty strong. She was very strong. She's like, so sorry, Irene, sis. So she's calling out for her final sister, and... Okay, Mom's calling. It's like, hi, Draven. How are you? While shopping, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry. It's in your room. You'll love it. So we're going to have to go back home to check that out, but not in this episode. Let's go and... Uh... Well, first and foremost, this is actually giving us a chance to heal our Pokemon, but we got two Pokemon that are fainted. Got one Super Potion, so let's use that on Teddy. Might need him. Oh, God. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, we're, we're just gonna... We're just gonna go straight ahead and battle this chick right here. So you, you sure were mean to my little sisters. Yeah. Yeah, it... it yeah, whatever. Okay, so here she is. Cool trainer. Kate comes out with her shelter. Huh. Look at that. Sticking out his tongue at me. Why would you do that, man? You know sticking out your tongue is not good, right? Okay. Oh, God. Flinched. And there it is. Another hit. Alrighty. She's gonna come out with a cloister for sure, so... I'm gonna go with the hard hitter right here. I'm gonna go with Teddy. Let's go, Teddy Bear. Teddy Ursa. And look at that. That's a big cloister. That is a, a majestic-looking cloister. All right. Let's do this. Headbutt attack. But there's that Aurora Beam, and... Well, takes quite a few HPs. Or, wow, it lowers my attack. Yeah, we're not going to survive this. So, we, what we're going to... Oh, wow. Okay, so... We're in a bit of a pickle right here because this guy is using, uh... Wow. How in the hell? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm trying to complete sentences here, but I keep on, I keep on getting screwed over. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, we're definitely gonna... We're definitely gonna need to train just a little bit more. And I was trying... I, I was seriously trying to paralyze it, but it's not letting me. And that Pokemon trainer is kicking my butt right now, so... 
Yeah, let's go with Relic right here since it's our strongest Pokemon. <sighs> okay, headbutt attack faster than you, kicking your butt right now. And it takes a quite a few, and really? Oh my god, I really hate this confu- man, okay. Completely forgot that I had that. No more confusion, and there's that Aurora Beam that we don't want to mess with. Yeah, these Pokemon trainers are strong. Okay, I'm not gonna heal anything. Let's go. Come on, Relic. Do it for your Eevee- mm, Your Eevee bitches. And this is really pissing me off right now. Okay. Yeah, I probably should have gave that to all my Pokemon, because this guy is just irritating the you-know-what out of me. Okay. Finish him off. Headbutt. That's how you win. That's how you struggle. That's how you train your Pokemon. And would you look at that? We defeat Kate, and she's like... No! I can't believe I lost! Yeah, I believe it, sister. Alright, so what did she do? She's like, oh, you're too strong! I didn't stand a chance! Here, you deserve this! We get ourselves the Soft Sand, which will actually increase the power of any kind of ground-type moves. And, yeah, I'm so sorry we jumped you. We never expected anyone to find us here. You sure it started us. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so is there any items right here that we need to get? No. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And it, this has been a long video, guys. A very, very long video. I'm sure you guys enjoyed it because, you know, you got to see me struggle just a little bit. Um, so in the next episode... Hmm, what will happen in the next episode? You know what? I'm going to go the traditional way. I'm going to go east because why not? There's more Pokemon trainers out there. It's good for us, I guess. And uh, there's more Pokemon right here, which is bugging the... Oh, look at that. It's a Tentacruel. You know what? I'm going to show you guys that I'm actually committed to this. I'm going to beat him. Come on, Relic. Come on. And there we go. That's how you do it. Heck yes. Okay, so that's enough of that. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. So yeah, we're going to go to Olivine City and uh, take care of business right over there. Um, just a lot of stuff that we need to take care of, guys. So stay tuned in the next episode. We'll be going east to Olivine City. See you guys tomorrow.